Tropical cyclone Yasi is behaving as expected. Uh, it's still moving towards the coast. It's intensifying as an expected to cross the coast somewhere between Cairns and Mackay sometime on Wednesday night. The Bureau of Meteorology has issued a cyclone watch from St Lawrence right through to Yapoon, but the highest risk area is from the Cairns region down to Mackay. That's why we're advising people in low-lying coastal areas to consider today relocating to family and friends on higher ground. And we're particularly asking those people who do live on higher ground to make their homes or rooms in their homes available for those in low-lying areas to relocate to. The Bureau is still predicting this to be a very intense storm, a cyclone, a Category 4, with very high destructive winds, very heavy rainfall both during the event and for several days afterwards, but most particularly a significant storm surge potentially of several metres. That's why the clear message to people in low-lying coastal areas, particularly between Cairns and Mackay, should consider today about relocating to family and friends, if possible, to higher ground. I want to ask Bruce Grady from Emergency Management Queensland to add a few comments. Thanks, Minister. Uh, many people uh, last evening uh, may have received uh, a text or a voice message uh, through the emergency alert system. Uh, that message was to warn people about the potential danger of, uh, of storm surge. Now, what people need to do as a result of that uh, is to ensure that they're in contact uh, by phone or on the web with their local council. Uh, local councils have the best information around uh, the impact of storm surge. Uh, storm surge is the, uh, is the biggest threat um, from this event uh, and people in low-lying areas need to be making uh, plans now uh, to relocate uh, and maybe uh, to, during the course of today uh, there will be a mandatory evacuation order given. So uh, people in those low-lying coastal areas need to be making their plans now uh, to relocate from their homes to family and friends in higher places. Thank you. The clear uh, message from emergency services is that sheltering in place is the most effective way of dealing with this issue, other than those people who will be affected by the storm tide. Um, the information regarding the storm tide is available on your local council websites uh, and, you can inf and you can easily access that information. There are also uh, numbers for your local uh, council that you can contact and to receive that same information. So please check if you're unsure of your situation. But now, today, um, is probably the last chance people will have to make the decision to relocate themselves and their family. It is far better to be inconvenienced for a couple of days by moving in with friends or family in higher ground or, in fact, relocating out of the danger area, uh, which extends at the moment from Cairns to Mackay. Certainly, we would ask people to consider that, to act now. Um, making those decisions today may prevent you having to make a decision at the height of what is expected to be a very, very dangerous cyclone. Thank you. So whereas the potential impact area is currently from Cairns region right through to Mackay, that is changing. So it's really important for people to continue listening to their radio and television bulletins and particularly to local area advice. Uh, to make sure they have the correct information so they can base their decisions on what the likely impact will be. Thanks. Please also check on neighbours, particularly those who might be elderly or disadvantaged, and for people who run tourist businesses, please ensure those people uh, you are dealing with, our tourists, are made very much aware of the potential of this cyclone. Thank you.